Today's really exciting. We have a new product we've been working on for a long time. Really been looking forward to releasing this one. I think it's going to be a significant improvement over what has been available in this industry for a long time. Introducing the Dynacoil. The Dynacoil has been engineered specifically for the use with materials that aren't quite solid. And that includes semi-solid and full melt concentrates as well as even some liquid concentrates and oils. The Dynacoil is compatible with nearly every device we've manufactured, including all of our titanium tips as well as our stainless steel tips. When we look at the top side, we're going to see an intricate shark tooth pattern. And this has been engineered to both capture and retain many concentrates in a more easily usable format. The Dynacoil is constructed from one single piece of medical grade titanium with a somewhat intricate design of holes and other features to help hold your concentrates in place for better vaporization and vapor flow. Why use the Dynacoil? Because we believe it's a very good alternative to many of the other options out there for concentrate use. When used in conjunction with one of our titanium or stainless steel tips and our temperature indicating cap, the temperature inside your extraction chamber can be very precisely regulated so that no part of it, especially the coil, exceeds the carbonization temperature or the thermal breakdown temperature of any of the active compounds or even some of the ancillary compounds in your concentrate. What does that really mean? It means you're not gonna get the black gunk that makes everything taste nasty if you've ever utilized a concentrate device that utilizes an electric coil, especially one that glows. To load your Dynacoil, we do recommend that you first remove your screen from your tip, whether it's a titanium tip or stainless tip. This will make it much easier to remove the coil for cleaning or for reconfiguration purposes down the road. Using your condenser or another suitable tool, pop your screen out. We insert the coil into the tip. Looking at the logo, we can see the bottom side of the letters, those go into the tip first. Place it in, and it helps to grasp the coil lightly and give it a slight clockwise twist as you're pushing down, and then we can seat it. And when we have it seated, we can look at it edge on, and we shouldn't see much of the coil. When we look straight down, we can see nearly right through the coil. The coil should be recessed far enough that when we place our cap onto the tip, the coil is not going to touch the inside of the cap. This helps keep the concentrates where they belong and reduces how much of a mess and how much cleanup that we have afterwards. A very simple and basic way to heat your device, whether it has concentrates or not, is like this, where we're gonna hold the torch at a slight angle to the tip and brush the flame across the tip as we roll it. Especially with concentrate use, heating slightly lower on the cap is going to produce a slightly higher temperature in the extraction chamber. This is especially important at the first heat cycle going from a cold start. Subsequent heat cycles should be heated more in the center of the cap or closer to the closed end of the cap to maintain the ideal operating temperature. But you'll figure this out with use and things will simply get better and better with practice. Another thing to keep in mind, after your first heat cycle, if you reapply your heat in the same manner as last time, you're gonna find that it will give you a slightly higher temperature in your extraction chamber because the extraction chamber is now up to operational temperature. If you want to maintain temperature, then you're gonna to wanna to heat a little bit closer to the closed end of the cap. Some people prefer one, some people prefer the other. The beautiful thing is you get your choice of either, no dials, no buttons, just simply change where and how you heat your cap. To remove your Dynacoil, the Dynacoil pops out very easily by pulling your condenser and pushing through the tip. I'm gonna put my finger over the end so it doesn't go flying. And there we have our coil. A nice way to clean your coil, if you take it out of your tip, is to put it in the nice little convenient container that it comes in. Apply a small amount of cleaning solution, snap the lid shut, and just give it a little soak. We don't recommend torching, and we also don't recommend uncoiling your coil. Thanks for watching. For more videos, click here or here, and don't forget to subscribe.